Howdy folks, you're watching Deuce and Guns. Have you ever wondered when you purchase a Heritage Rough Rider Revolver, why they have the option for you to have two different cylinders? Well, let's take a look at that because the actual revolver is capable of firing the 22 short, 22 long, 22 long rifle, and with the additional cylinder, 22 magnum. All four of those are capable to be shot out of a Heritage Rough Rider Revolver. So, let's take a look at that. Here we have the actual 22 long rifle cylinder and it is capable because of all the um, basically all the dimensions are the same except the length it's capable of actually chambering 22 short 22 long and 22 long rifle they all three go right in because the case and the bullet are the same size all the way down they just go further down into the cylinder well, Heritage also offers a 22 Magnum. There we go, you can see the writing on there. 22 Magnum also has no scallops on it versus the 22 long rifle, which is also a good way, good dead giveaway of which cylinder you're dealing with. Now, what if you fired a 22 long rifle in a 22 Magnum cylinder? I have no idea. So let's all head on down to the farm and find out. Okay, first of all, we have the 22 Magnum cylinder and the 22 long rifle cylinder. So, first of all, we will go ahead and stuff a 22 long rifle into the 22 long rifle cylinder. And you can see it goes all the way in. Because you can see that the, get out of there, the bullet and the case are exactly the same size. So that goes all the way in, no problems at all. The 22 Magnum case, you can see that the bullet and the case, there's a close-up of it, bullet and case are different sizes. So if you try to put a 22 Magnum case into a 22 long rifle, it just won't fit. It just does not fit, simple as that, it does not fit. Now the 22 Magnum cylinder, the 22 Magnum course goes right in. No problems whatsoever, because that's what it's designed for. But if we take the 22 long rifle, put it in there, it does go in, it does go in. It's very, very sloppy. Look at, look at how much play that is. There's a ton of play in that cartridge. First of all, I get a baseline by putting six rounds through the normal 22 long rifle cylinder. 22 long rifle CCI mini mag and 22 long rifle cylinder. 961. 933. Now it's lower than the actual advertised speed on the box because we're shooting it through a revolver, not a full size rifle. 982. That was a hard, that was a good one. <laughs> and 907. So I believe that's it. Nope. There we go. 924. Now that's it. Okay. So basically, 925, 924, all the way to uh, 980. Now let's go ahead and change this out with the Magnum Cylinder. No! 585. That was not my imagination whatsoever. 716. It's going to be all over the place, I bet. 606. 571. 697. And 657. Okay, focus. All right, there we go. I'm curious if it mushroomed out any. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. You can see it right there. It is mushroomed out quite a bit near the back, near the base of the cartridge. That could have split. That could have actually blown gases back in my face if it did not hold together. Luckily, CCI is a quality brand cartridge and they use quality brass. That was super interesting. I cannot believe that we would lose a third of your velocity by shooting a 22 long rifle cartridge in a 22 Magnum chamber. That was really interesting, like a third. So it dropped down to, from 900 something feet per second to five and 600 feet per second. Really interesting. Well guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and go ahead and subscribe because a lot more is on the way. And if you have any comments, questions, or show ideas, go ahead and leave that in the comment box below the video. And of course, you guys have a great day. See ya. <laughs> oh, I had the safety on.